A girl is sitting in an old automobile tire which is suspended as shown. If the girl and the tire together have a mass of 60 kg, determine the tensions in the ropes AC and BC. This is the given figure. If you observe there, the mass of the girl along with the tire is given as 60 kg. So here you have to convert this mass into uh, weight. So for that we know the relation W is equal to mg. So through that we can convert no problem. And if you observe there AC is a string and BC is also a string. Along the strings we can uh, keep tensile force. A string can experience tensile force only. So here when you observe the two tensile forces along the string and uh, weight of the girl along with the tire. So all those forces are meeting at point C, right? So we have to consider free body diagram of a point C or equilibrium of point C. So let us draw the free body diagram for point C or equilibrium of point C now. So you can write free body diagram of point C or equilibrium of point C. So first let us denote that point. So this is the point C. From this point, so the weight of the girl along with the tire is acting vertically downwards. That is given as 60 kg. So mass is given there. So you have to convert that one into newtons. First consider the mass. Mass is 60 kg. So I know the relation between weight and mass. So W equal to mg. So which is nothing but 60 into 9.8. 81 so which is equal to 588.6 588.6 newtons so this is the weight so that is acting vertically downwards from point c as shown now 588.6 newtons and if you observe from the point c there is a connection to point B. So it is nothing but a string. Along the string there will be tensile force. So you have to draw a force which is away from the point. Why? Because tensile force will be away from the point. So consider it is tension along BC right. So I will denote with TBC. So which means tension along BC. So instead of T you can use S also because it is string as uh, is the string uh, or otherwise T for tension. It is given in the figure itself. It is making an inclination of 30 degrees with horizontal. And if you observe C is having a connection with point A. So that is nothing but a string. So along the string there will be tensile force. So that will be also away from the point and you have to denote that force so that is nothing but tension along AC right and it is given that it is making an inclination of 45 degrees with horizontal so we have to denote that so this is uh, the free body diagram of point C or equilibrium of point C so in order to apply Lamy's theorem there should be the number of forces and the system should be under equilibrium so here even after the application of forces, the system is under equilibrium and uh, there are three number of forces only. So now I can apply Lamy's theorem. In order to apply Lamy's theorem, I should know the angle between each and uh, every force. So for our convenience, I have redrawn the free body diagram of point C. So here this is 30 degrees and we know that this is right angle. So the total angle is 30 plus 90. So that is 120 degrees. I will note that value here. 120 degrees. And this is 45 degrees. And it is right angle. So then. So that is 45 plus 90. Which is 135 degrees. And here in a straight line the angle is 180. So this is nothing but 180 minus. 45 plus 30 which is nothing but 180 minus 75 and it is 105 degrees 
Now I am going to apply Lamy serum. First I am going to consider TAC. So TAC divided by close TAC. So when you close TAC, so the remaining two forces are TBC and 588.6 right and the angle between those two is 120 degrees. So that means TAC is directly proportional to sine 120. So there I can write TAC divided by sine 120 is equal to now close TBC. So when you close TBC, so the remaining forces are TAC and 588.6 and the angle between those two is 135. So that means for TBC, uh, the opposite angle is sine 135, right? Sine of opposite angle, opposite angle is 135. So which will be equal to, so which will be equal to, so the remaining force 588.6 Newtons divided by opposite angle is 105 degrees. So that means when you close uh, this one, so the remaining two forces are these and the angle between those two is 105 degrees sin 105 degrees so from this relation you can find the value of TAC as well as TBC so if you want to find TAC equate these two if you want to find TBC so equate these two first I am going to find TAC so for that I am considering the relation TAC divided by sin 120 is equal to 588.6 divided by sin 105 from that TAC is equal to 588.6 into sin 120 divided by sin 105 so when you calculate that you will get 527.72 newtons so this is the value for TAC Similarly, if you want to find TBC, so equate these two. So when you equate those two, TBC is equal to sine 35, 135 will be gone to this side. So 588.6 sine 135 divided by sine 105. So if you simplify, you will get 430.88 Newtons. So this is the value of tensile force in string AC and this is the value of tensile force in string BC. Hope you are able to understand this. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, click on like button and don't forget to subscribe. Thank you all.